Hey everybody and welcome. The purpose of this YouTube playlist is to explain how to use the program that I wrote to play Too Many Bones. So if you don't already know, Chip Theory Games has kindly given me permission and access to their game's assets in order to make my program freely available to everyone who's interested in learning the game or simply playing the game on their computer without having to get up get out all the components, or maybe for those people who haven't purchased the game yet. I have divided the explanation of my program into a series of uh, 14 short videos that you can watch in sequence to learn how to use the program and all of its functionality. And then later you could possibly come back and re-watch a particular video uh, if you need a refresher as to how one particular aspect of the program functions. So understand that this program allows you to experience playing the game Too Many Bones without having access to the game's components. The program does not play the game for you. Its um, purpose is to create uh, somewhat of a sandbox so that you can play the game using your computer. Now, of course, this can be particularly valuable for people who are new to the game or those, as I said before, thinking of purchasing the game. In some cases, the program is going to alert you when you make uh, when you might be playing incorrectly. It will remind you of things that you may have forgotten or overlooked. It will remind you about skills and uh, all sorts of things. But for the most part, this is a sandbox, and therefore uh, the program is not necessarily going to stop you from moving components around the board in a way that my, might uh, violate the rules of the game. So let me talk uh, very quickly about the system requirements. You need a PC running Windows, Vista, or later. I'm not sure there's any PCs left still running Windows Vista, preferably Windows 7 or Windows 10. Uh, I should mention I have not tested the program on Windows Vista, but theoretically it should function. You have to install the program to a location on a local hard drive, not to a network drive. I think that goes without saying. Your minimum screen resolution needs to be 1366 by 768. If you have a widescreen monitor, chances are you are running that screen resolution or better. But uh, keep in mind, if you're not running 1366 by 768, uh, the program will alert you to that fact, but it will still run. However, a part of the screen is going to be truncated. And lastly, and this is common sense, using the program assumes you, that you do have a basic understanding of the rules of the game. If you don't, or if you, if you just want to see an actual playthrough using the program, uh, please refer to my tutorial playthrough, actually that I just recorded using the latest version of the program and I'll provide you the link in the notes below. So I'm recording this introduction actually after I have recorded the other 13 videos and um, uh, we're about two weeks away from the formal release of the program uh, which will happen in early August of 2017. So th this play playlist is going to be available to anyone who wants to see it either ahead of time or after the fact, whatever the case may be. Okay, so let's talk about the installation. You're going to need four files in order to install the program, and you're going to need to download those files from the internet in, uh, into a temporary location on your on your computer. So here I have created a folder on my C drive called Install Too Many Bones, and these are the four files I need in order to set up the uh, set up the game on my computer. Now, obviously, I'm not giving you the link on the internet where to download those uh, files. That will be provided in a separate post once I formally release the game, as I said, in early August, in a couple weeks. So, to begin the installation, you're going to want to double click on Setup. Now, there's a Setup and there's a Setup.lst. You want to click on Setup. So, I'm going to click on Setup to begin the setup of the program. Now, if after clicking setup you see a user account control window come up with the question do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device you're going to want to click yes obviously otherwise you're not going to be able to proceed so once you get past that step we're going to be here at the welcome screen and you're going to click ok to proceed I would highly recommend that you just go with the default directory uh, where the program is going to be installed. You can see 
It's going to go on drive C, program files, x86, too many bones. Uh, then you're going to want to click this large icon in the uh, upper left corner to begin the installation. Then you're going to be asked to create a program group. Just click continue. And then the setup will begin. Now you might see a window that says something along the lines of a file being copied is not newer than the file currently on your computer or on your system. You do not want to overwrite the file on your computer that's newer. So uh, click whatever uh, response to that prompt makes sense so that you don't overwrite a newer version of the file with an older version of the file. Uh, then you're going to click OK uh, after it says it's, got, it's been completed successfully. And then this next step is very, very important because this setup program only contains a very early version of the uh, program, which actually was radically different from the one that is current, which is this one. This is the newest version of the program. You can see uh, the file version here says 2.1.0.46. You're going to probably see a version that's 2.2 or better. So you're going to want to right click on this executable. Now, that, again, there are two files here called Too Many Bones. You want to right click on the one that has the bone icon. That's a right click or a secondary click of your mouse. And then click Copy. Then we need to copy this over, basically overwrite the old version of the executable that you just installed. So we have to go to where you installed the program. In my case, I installed the default folder, so I'm going to go back to Drive C. I'm going to go to, go to Program Files x86. I'm going to go to uh, Too Many Bones. And here we are. So to paste what I just copied earlier, I'm going to right click and paste. And I will see uh, this uh, something like this, depending upon what version of Windows you're running. You're going to want to copy and replace the old version with the new one. Okay, so now we have the new version of the program. If you hover your mouse over it, again, it should say something like 2.2 or 2.2.1 or something like that. Either 2.2 or better. So you can click the program to uh, start it right now if you want to. And again, Here's another way to verify that your version is the right version. You're going to want to see something that says version 2.2 or larger. For now, I'm going to quit. So there are three ways you can launch the program. You can actually come to this folder uh, to uh, click Too Many Bones, as I just did. You could go to your Start menu and find the program group Too Many Bones and launch the program from that Start menu group. Or you can create a link to the program, a shortcut, uh, on your desktop. So the way you do that is you right-click on the executable and you copy it. Then you go to your Windows desktop. You close this window. You bring up your Windows desktop with, with whatever background picture you might have or maybe you have a solid color, whatever. I'm just going to pretend that this is my Windows desktop. And you're going to right-click on a blank portion of your Windows desktop. And then this is very important. You want to click Paste Shortcut. You don't want to click Paste. Make sure you click Paste Shortcut. You should end up with an icon on your desktop that looks like this one. See how it has a little arrow in the bottom left corner? That indicates it's not the actual program, but rather it is a shortcut to the program that links to this executable in this particular folder. Okay, uh, that pretty much covers everything having to do with the installation. Proceed on to video two to learn how to uh, set up a new game and uh, go on from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.